we get some more honey. Good morning, good morning everybody. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we just want to send love and greetings to everyone out there, wherever you're joining us from. I never thought the day would reach when I say that we have fans from all over the world and all the continents. And so we just really want to send some love and appreciation to every single person out there who has been following us, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, encouraging. So it's a quiet Tuesday in Quora. Very, very real quiet. Quiet, real quiet. Real mellow. There's no stress, there's no rush, there's no anxiety to, you know, get things done. Sana woke up early this morning and took care of the majority of the chores. Thanks. Yeah, man. Brethren, you, <laughs> you miss my hand. Eh? Boom. The kids not feeling 100% today, so they at home, give them some medication and they resting up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just checked them, they're good. They good? Yeah, man. Yeah. I find it like they had to really be sick because it's just really quiet. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna do today? Well, I was thinking along the lines of some curry fish, boy. Curry fish. Yeah, some curry fish and basmati rice. No, no provision. No provision, nothing like All that. Right. Just straight curry fish with a nice coconut sauce. Yeah. And basmati rice. Yeah, but basmati rice, right? That that's a rice make for sauce, you know. Mm -hmm. It is like basmati rice is like roti in granular form. It is yeah. soak up things. If you know what I mean, if you know what I'm trying but to say. Let me say something now. Yeah. Is it that it was too expensive? But when I was a little fella, mm -hmm. I never could recall this basmati or jasmine rice. It was around, but it the availability was low in Trinidad because um. It's a costly, it's, it's, it's a costly rice. It's more costly than usual um, parboiled slash white rice that you'd find on the local supermarket shelves. Mm -hmm. But you know, with the increase in, um, the increase in trade and, and that sort of thing. Daddy? Yeah. Hey, Siri. Come darling. See, you don't, see, you don't want to share with me. Siri? What? See, you don't want to share with you? No, Sydney. Sydney? Sydney? Mm. What you had yesterday, darling? Yes. But would you like to carry some fish with us? Yes. Okay. Sydney, you want to share with me? What about some basmati rice? Yes. Yes. But Sydney, you want to share with me? All right, we'll fix that. All right, that. you go organize, right? So curry fish and basmati rice. Simple and nice. Basmati rice, basmati rice Curry fish and basmati rice I feel that on a Tuesday that will really be so nice Basmati rice, basmati rice Nobody check me for singing lessons mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, whole week I sing that song, you know? Yeah boy, you stick that in my head Everything I sing it with that tune, boy Sana <laughs> Like a fish What do you mean? It's like, God grant them a wish. I want to put you on a dish. You put me on a dish? <laughs> I want to be I try to get some C-related metaphors mm -hmm. slash puns, but it's not working out. Is it working out at all? Now why? Take out the fish. Take out the fish. Take out the fish. Did you get any fish? Mm-hmm. Like it's some small ones. All the hard work on all the enjoy. Alright, let me see if we can make something happen here. Hi, Amy, what's going on? Well, I hear you outside, so I come out there with my cutlass. <laughs> Wait, what's somebody teething me? Well, I want to know what's going on. Well, I have a situation here. You don't cook outside, that? 
You didn't think it's a nice day for outside cook? Mm, all right. I do the hardest part for you. Why is that? Get the wood? Yeah. You sure that cut last shot, boy? Just walk it, man. I feel like I'm making cricket bat. When last you all look at a coconut branch up close. Look at the one or two plants that I have in my yard. This is a banana tree, a julie mango tree, a lime tree there, some more bananas, coconuts, powder puff tree. The hummingbirds love this tree. Sour sub tree. One big termite nest. I didn't realize this termite nest so big on my sour sub tree. So you see, this is a termite nest on my sour sub tree. And well, so far there's no indication that it's having a negative impact on the tree. Don't know much about it. Maybe you all could shed some light. Should I remove it? You see the size of that termite nest? How long you think it would take for that to reach that size? A good few months? Yes? About 40 years. <laughs> Where's the situation? We some hand sanitizer here. Yeah. And bread it really. It's supposed to be rubbing alcohol. Right. I hope it's flammable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get burned? Nah. You learn this in Boy Scouts? I learned this from Frank. Uncle Frank? Uncle Frank. You can't choke it up too much, right? Mm -mm. So we go boil the rice first? Yeah. Alright, so we have some basmati rice here. I'll just probably do like one third of the pack. I always make sure to wash my rice. It doesn't matter where or who it comes from. It's no offense to anybody producing it at all. It's just that, you know, it's my preference to wash my rice. It lightens, it flame up nice. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah, man. I feel we'll have to put our table outside. All right. Yeah. We have? Yeah, man. You can build one real fast? I can build one fast. You know how long I want to cook on my fireside outside, boy? Well, today's the day. Today's the day. Yeah, man, look, we had the real thing there, Santa. Mm -hmm. This is Sydney's old school desk from online days. Built by Santa's workshop. Perfect. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Chicken? Let's make rice fish. Or curry fish. Curry fish. Is this situation anyway? We need more firepower. What am I learning? Train your eyes? Yeah. Your rice wouldn't cook if you don't do this rice wash thing. <laughs> Just tradition, you know? Come right back. Think you good day?
But what are the ingredients you need for the curry fish? You need coconut milk powder, curry, yeah. green yeah. seasoning. Yeah, we have those we things. We have all them things. Yeah. Right. They look pretty. Yes, I know you ain't going to What about vegetable wise? Uh, no, no veg. Nothing like um. I got it. Pumpkin or bad you anything to go in it? Nothing like that. Alright, cool. So no. Yeah, so the rice boiling nice. Wow. Get a medium heat. Of course. If it was closer to the fire, it would have been like bubbling in a sort of rolling fashion. But this is just fine. I don't know if you could see. Yeah, that have about five minutes to go again. So this is the underside of the coconut branches here. Have a lot of activity going on here, boy. Some ants making some nests. I'm a jump nest a little higher there. Let me see if I could get it. Yep, a little Japanese in between there. I don't know what type of Jap it is, but Jap is Jap. Well, judging from what I see in here, we'll have some coconut inspired episodes coming up. Boy, that pot fit good. Watch me. Yeah. Is it gonna be too much aquarium? Alright, so we go in here with some oil here. Yeah? Uh -huh. That pot hot already, you know. What do you mean? We have some blend up seasoning we and onions. Close up. Uh huh. That's gonna be fire cracker, boy. Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. Very fire, Good. Smelling good, eh? It smells different. Yeah. Instantly. I see we don't want this blending up too much. Alright, so we want it to take its time and sweat out and let all the flavors come out. Mm -hmm. And in order to avoid um in order to avoid it burning, we constantly turn it. I say we but it's really he. <laughs> Him. Alright, so we are here. Have some curry um. Now I prefer to use the ordinary curry yeah. rather than the duck and goat. Right. But I only see duck and goat there. And I tell you, I could go down the road for yeah. you, boy. Die not saying we go make it work. Right? Yeah. So, I mix some with some water here, but I mightn't add in all. Alright. They're all looking yellow and nice already. Wait a little bit. I found when you're cooking curry, you could use a little amount and get a lot of flavor. I've always found that the more I cook curry, it's the more flavor that's going to be extracted from the curry greens. If you put a little, if you put too much curry powder in your dish, what's going to happen is that when you eat it, you're going to find like the sauce is a little grainy to the tooth when you bite, you know? Lasana in his classic fireside position. Yeah, man. Take note. Hand on knee. The entire upper body is being supported by the weight of the knee. <laughs> All right. It's a slightly forward lean. Not directly over the pot. And you knock your pot for good luck. Yes, I. Always.
You know it's a good fire side cook when you had to wipe your sweat. Right, so what I will keep doing here is letting this dry down so that the curry will cook. Yes. Add water. Mm -hmm. Dry down again. Add some more water. Then finally the coconut milk. And then we put the fish. And then we put the pieces of fishes. The pieces of fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then lower, the, lower the fire. No, no, I make a lot of observation here. What's that? This fish has really been properly cleaned. Yeah. But I notice that they leave these fins, yeah. and I think that that is intentional. So I'm going to leave it. Right. So I wash out the fish nice. Yeah. Line bath. I'll be going in with some seasoning here. I make the seasoning nice and thick. Better than mine. Oh gosh. Black pepper. Wait, stop. Good thing I take your advice, Gil. What is that? And I didn't throw all the curry. Yeah, look how thick and nice that is. So we're gonna build on this sauce a little bit here. Yeah? I didn't put too much of salt in the fish. Mm -hmm. Personally, oh. yeah. the ordinary curry, yeah. the one with all these set of masala and things, yeah. is the better option for fish. Oh, you find that the duck and goat is a little too potent for something as delicate as fish. Yeah. But you know when you add the coconut milk, it's yeah, going the to... the coconut milk should, should tame it down nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We get in there. Yeah, I believe so from the way it's looking. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Coconut milk powder. Ah. Sana? Sana? Mm -hmm. is, is it coming out the way you want it? Yeah, man. I like how you're cleaning down the sides of the pot. Yeah. That's flavor, eh? Mm-hmm. I don't want it too burnt. I think you're looking correct. I think you're ready for rice and salad. Yeah, man. I don't even think this sauce needs fish. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I was struggling to get some shadow benny in my yard. Now, I have a lot. Have a nice little patch. Yes, man. Alright, we'll get them a good wash and put them in the pot. Too much heat? Yeah, well, I'll lower the arm fire cutter. You lower the stove? I'll lower the stove. <laughs> Good on her Whole jasso. That we baji. That we baji. Train all of that sauce and seasoning like cook up, you know. Tell that thing waste in you know, a boy. You want a cover? What do you think I should put back a little fire or just let that take your time and I'm simmer there? Well, what I would do is leave leave those embers and cover it with the um, lid to create kind of like a, a... Okay. To capitalize on the steam is what I'm trying to say. Ten seconds later. All right, now we could take a little small turn here mm -hmm. as the fish still am. Um, whole. Whole, right? Yeah. So you flip them once. Yeah. And after that, no turning again, no eh? No turning, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's ready there now, you know. Well, let me see how it looks now. Yep. Yeah, man. Correct. Good! Man, I like me picking on, boy. <laughs> Put them inside. 
Take your time. So you see that heat inside, eh? I don't want that heat waste, you know. I don't want this heat waste. All this beautifully lit wood pieces. Okay, what I going and do? I go in and make my own magic in here. You see this fella? We go in and roast him. Not this fella, eh? This fella. Mm-hmm. So now put them right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll just leave that there is no rush because we have food inside already. Curry sauce and rice and I always like to do a fresh salad at the side. Alright, um, but I don't have any lettuce. I don't have any cucumbers or tomatoes and that's okay because I'll show you what I use. I just went in the fridge and whatever I saw, I took out and I'm gonna show you how to transform that into a wonderful fresh salad to pair well with your fireside curry fish and basmati rice. Yes man, so all fresh ingredients, lovely. I went into my fridge, I got some ends of bell pepper, some cabbage, grapes, carrots, uh, kiwi. Well, I didn't get this in the fridge, I picked this in the yard. Onion, garlic, all right? Fresh, nice, we'll see. We squeezing this, eh? we are cutting this up, <laughs> all right? You know, sometimes when people say they have anything to make fresh salad, I highly doubt that. Once you have one or two ingredients in your fridge, you could get something nice, man. So just add everything into a bowl. Whatever fell out on the side, just add them back. My counters are clean. I always sanitize my counters. All right, to this, we'll add some salt, some black pepper. One tablespoon of honey. If you don't have honey, you could use sugar, of course and the juice of half a lime. And just mix everything together. And of course, feel free to add hot peppers or chili peppers to this if you like. And this is your fresh Salad of the day. All right, time for curry fish and rice. Sana. This is our curry fish with basmati rice and salad. Fresh salad and a different kind of salad. This is fresh salad, this is yellow salad. And I find I ain't here nobody. Salad is in red with red. The um, is this cheese you was looking for? Exactly. Curry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me hear you. I'm mm hungry. -hmm. Mm 
la bici? Ay, 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 ay. What everybody said earlier, that it was tasting real good. No lies were told. Could make and sell. You can't help it. You have to look your fingers. Now what I did was I actually took apart the pieces of fish with my fingers to take out all the bones of the fish or what we like to call pickle. I take out all the pickle before I feed my children. Because redfish is not a fish like curry, where there's like one sense of bone running along the middle. Even in the sauce, there would have been bits and pieces of the fish that would have fallen off and into the sauce. So you want to make sure that you monitor your kids when they're eating fish. But monitor them at all times, but especially with fish and things like that. Same thing I'm saying. So, so let's still be careful, right? Yes, mom. I finished. You could taste this food and you could tell it was cooked outdoors on our fire side. So until next time, be happy, be safe. Be happy, be safe. And no, I did not forget my breadfruit roasting. Hey, so we have lunch for tomorrow one time. Breadfruit and curry fish. Yeah.